Hi, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith and we're here one more day together stepping out with Faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual and social wholeness. If you're coming for the first time, a very special welcome to our channel. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, a very special welcome back to Escape Forever Free. Now this is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide so please grab your 1888 edition of the great controversy and then grab your king james version of the bible and join us you will follow us through and at the end of this time video you will continue for one hour you and god alone so please peruse the rest of the previous day's videos so you can also catch up as to what was before today's video and also we invite you to peruse the entire channel to see what else could be of support to you now let's go into prayer and continue in our one hour alone time kickstart devotional routine for today let us pray righteous and holy father we thank you for another opportunity that we have been given to seek out your face and to work out our salvation with fear and trembling father please help us all in the hearing of this prayer who are watching this video father to understand the need for us to be ready and waiting the investigative judgment is in process and also because of the times that we're in father without reason and with so many simple situations father lives are being cut short people are being allowed to to sleep father so many situations in which death is passing over this earth Father, at any time, even before your coming, our last moment can be. Father, I beg, help us all who are not seizing all the opportunities to seek and find you and who are ignoring the thuggings of the Holy Spirit upon our hearts and consciences to fix, this, fix our lives in order to receive salvation. I beg that today somebody in the hearing of this prayer will start a new journey with you and pray and beg for your forgiveness and repent of their evil and forgive their transgressors and start that journey towards new jerusalem father please may somebody be saved and may all of us in the hearing of this prayer who so desire to be saved may none of us be missing from your kingdom when you come so we beg leave your holy spirit with us father so that we can be guided home in jesus name amen all right, so we're going to go into our memory text. Our memory text this week comes to us from Isaiah 25 and verse 9. And it says, And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Again, Isaiah 25 verse 9. And it shall be in and it shall be said in that day lo this is our god we have waited for him and he will save us this is the lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation we truly pray god help us to commit this to memory and even further to live out in preparation live out our lives in preparation for this experience that we will truly be among the rejoicing instead of the running when Jesus Christ returns. All right, so we go to Isaiah. Sorry, we're going to go to the pages of the Great Controversy. We pick up at 483.2 in chapter 28. All right, the investigative judgment. Let's read. It says, all who have truly, all who have truly repented of sin and by faith claimed the blood of Christ as their atoning sacrifice, have had pardon entered against their names in the book of heaven. Now as they have become partakers of righteousness, of the righteousness of Christ, and their characters are found to be in harmony with the law of God, their sins will be blotted out, and they themselves will be accounted worthy of eternal life the lord declares by the prophet isaiah in isaiah 43 and verse 25 please turn your scriptures with us to isaiah 43 and verse 25 and let's read it together 
All right. So it reads, I, even I am that, I, even I am he that blotted out, out thy transgressions for mine own sake and will not remember thy sins. Back to the pages of the controversy. It says also that he that in Revelation, he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Let's go to Revelation 3 and verse 5. It says, He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed with right white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. That's Revelation 3 and verse 5. Therefore, also, it says in St. Matthew 10 and verses 32 and 33 let's find saint matthew 10 matthew 10 verse 32 and 33 whosoever therefore shall confess before me before men him will i confess also before my father which is in heaven but whosoever shall deny me before men him will i also deny before my father which is in heaven all right so it is making it clear there in those readings that God is um, recording all of our deeds and our deeds are setting our destinies. So let us not be slothful in the lives that we are living and realize that when God speaks, his words are not only clear, but they are, they are sure, they're unchangeable, and it's exactly what he means. He teaches us in 1 Corinthians 31 and verse 10 that whatsoever we do whether we eat or whether we drink or whatsoever we do We are to do all to the glory of God And this is the reason why because the judgment is set and every deed will be measured and whatever life we live That is the results that we must reap and so if it is that we're living according to our own laws and our own regulations, then we are going to realize that we're going to reap what we saw and that our end is going to be not as great as we would want it to be all right so let's go now into our meditation meditational hymn which comes to us from 598 598 and it says watch ye saints we're gonna do stanza three this morning so let's go kingdoms at their base are crumbling hark his chariot wheels are rumbling tell or oh, tell of grace abounding while the seven trump is sounding lo he comes lo jesus comes lo he comes he comes all glorious Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, he comes. Yes, Jesus comes. Oh, well, may Lord have mercy upon us and help us to be ready for this coming. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for all the teachings, the warnings, the readings, the guidance that we have been receiving this week as it concerns the investigative judgment and how we should be preparing ourselves father for that experience and also for the expectation of your soon return father we pray please may all of us who so desire to be saved in your kingdom we beg of you jesus give us your holy spirit to instruct us and guide us into faithful living so that when our names are called up we will be ready and when you return father we will be ready and waiting with joy in our hearts despite the fact that the earth will be destroyed after all the judgments are complete have mercy upon us father and help us to also have the desire to help others to be safe too and to work faithfully to help them in jesus name amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer so god bless you my friend and we will meet again god's willing tomorrow to close off this week's one hour alone time kickstart together god bless you and please now continue 
with your alone time with God.